know it's not Halloween yet, but say hello to the dead people because they're all here. Um, I'm in a graveyard right now and I'm freaking out. I'm like literally freaking out because I'm here with my brother, my cousin, my boyfriend, and my two um, other friends. By the way, they're girls. Um, I mean, by the way, they're girls. Um, just letting you know. But they're up there, and they're not going to be featured in this video because they decided that they did not want to be featured in any videos because they don't have channels and they don't like being on YouTube. So, yes, I'm there with them. And I'm in a graveyard right now, and I'm freaking out because literally I've never been in a graveyard all by myself, like all alone, for like over 10 minutes, and it's like making me scared because I don't like being here all alone, and I kind of have to pee because I'm getting so scared that I have to pee, um, and I keep on seeing like faces behind the camera lens, like when I turn around, I keep on seeing faces, and then when I turn around to see it, it's like nothing's there, so I feel like I'm just getting paranoid. Um, but yeah, it's cold out here i'm so freaked out like there are graves like look this is from 1871 to 1924 and then the other one beside it is from 1972 to 1991 it is insane it is so creepy being out here i hate this i hate thinking about being out here it's scary and it's just ugh, it just freaks me out my dad is also buried out here he was from 1976 to 2007, and then um, there's some other people over here. There's the Stanford family, there's the Webb family, there's just a bunch of people out here, and I don't really know what to do exactly. Um, and then my aunt is also out here. Over her grave, she has like flowers and stuff growing, um, and she has a kind of cute grave. Ooh, looky, 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 it's a cookie, cookie. No, it's flowers. Look, it's pretty flowers. I don't know where these came from, but I'm just going to put these over there on her grave because I'm not really sure where they came from and wherever they came from, they're going to look really good there. So she has all the stuff that people just put on her grave. I don't even know. Then she has, like, this stone, and then she has her stone. And she was April... No, I'm not going to say her birthday or anything but she was 1987 to 2003 and it says cry my last for a night crying may last for a night but joy comes in the morning it's really cute it's just that's what it says on her grave and then there's a couple other things like little matrimonial things that are up here because um, her family or friends of her family wanted them to be up here and it's really cute and just really sweet how many people really gather around once you think about it and do these kinds of things because they want their family to be remembered um hardly any of these people out here have flowers though and i'm really really surprised about that but i found more flowers yay they're artificial flowers and since of these people don't have flowers <laughs> sorry to wake you people but you know you want some flowers here you go no don't don't throw them off put them right here thank you oh, this grave has something on it it says henry brown i think it's sewed onto the grave i think it was the people who made the grave but yeah this place is really creepy it's okay it's really really creepy Oh my gosh, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go around telling you some, um, I'm not really telling you anything, but <laughs> yeah, most of these graves are so, like, look at this one, see, that grave is so old that you cannot even see the extensions of what the name or the date that they died or that they were born was, you can't even see it anymore, that's how old it was, so I'm guessing that they're like 18 something, 1800s or something, from like 1894 or something. I'm not really sure what they are, but yeah, it's really creepy and I don't like being out here. Like, some of these people share the same stone, I think. Yeah. But oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is what creeps me out so much. This creeps me out beyond even creeping me out. Like, this is so scary to me. I don't know why it's scary to me, but it is. It's like so freaky and I don't like it at all but it's something that's there this 
Okay, this, these, look, can you even see those? These people died like years ago, and guess what? These, their bodies are literally right there. I have bodies literally right beside me. I'm not scared of the people who are underground because I'm fine with them. They can like do all these things and they're like great and everything. But the thing is, the people who are not even really alive anymore, who are just sitting there in stones right beside me, that really creeps me out and scares me. So don't ask me to come over here and look at all these dumb graves. Well, not dumb graves. Not dumb. You're very, very nice, actually. But yeah, don't ask me to come over here and look at these. I'm not really even sure if I want to look at them anymore. This one, like, just totally drops. I mean, it just, like, oof. 1907 to 1979. Most of these graves are really old, but I don't really care because they're kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, I think it's kind of cool how there's a lot of graves out here who, that have, yeah, that aren't here anymore. Um, this is just going to be my part one because I want to do a part two of being out here because I really like being outdoors and filming. So I hope you enjoyed part one. I will have a part two up soon. Love you guys so much.